Hey YouTube, Vinny M here and welcome to another video here on the channel. Today we are doing an informational video about a pressure dressing. There are a total of four videos in this series, one for each of the four dressings in front of you. The North American Rescue ETD, the h, &H Medical H Bandage, the Tech Med Solutions Olias Bandage, and the Percy's Medical Israeli. Be sure to check out each individual video for each of the four products to find out information specific to that pressure dressing and what its pros and cons are. But today, we're going to be doing an informational video on the TACMED Solutions Olias. The TACMED Solutions Olias Bandage is most likely the newest pressure dressing on the market today. I don't know exactly when it came to market, but I do know it has been around less time than the Israeli or the North American Rescue, meaning only the h, &H Medical could potentially be newer than it, but I don't think it is. However, the Olias brings more applications to one specific dressing than any of the others, meaning where the other pressure dressings on the market are meant only to control moderate bleeding, the Olias is capable of doing quite a lot more. They specifically designed this dressing to be able to cover an eye injury, to be used to wound pack, to be used as a pressure dressing, and to be used as an occlusive dressing, meaning it can treat four different kinds of injuries as opposed to most pressure dressings application to only one single kind of injury. For the sake of consistency, we're going to look up the prices on rescueessentials.com. On rescueessentials.com, you'll find the Olias bandage ranging from $6.70 to $7.33, depending on which size you get. It's available in 4-inch and 6-inch. You can get the 4-inch in a standard package, which means rolled up like this, or you can get it in a flat package, which looks like that. You can choose the packaging based on where you're putting the item. The item in the package is exactly the same, but if you have a flat space to put it in, you might want the flat one, or if you have a more round space that it's going in, you might want the rolled one. There's also a six inch available, but it only comes rolled. You cannot get it in a flat package. Obviously choosing six inches gives you the ability to cover larger wounds. Now, there is another version of the Elias available, and that, is this white one, which is a whopping $40.28 because it contains Hemocon, which is very similar to Quick Clot and Celox. It's a hemostatic agent that stops bleeding by increasing how quickly your body begins its clotting cascade, forming clots to stop the bleeding. The Olias, as you'll see in a minute, has a compartment built into it that holds gauze. On these green packages, that gauze is just regular gauze for wound packing. However, on this $40 variant in this white package, what you're getting is actually Hemocon gauze in order to wound pack, which means that gives this bandage a huge advantage in treating arterial injuries, arterial bleeding, something no other pressure dressing is designed specifically to do, but it is expensive. So my 22 pound cat has decided to make an appearance in the video today. That's what that meow was you heard a moment ago and I paused the video so that uh, he would stop making noise and go away and I could continue, but instead he decided to park his fat ass right in the middle of my table. So we're just gonna let him hang out cause he does what he wants anyway and we're gonna continue on. So the package for the Elias is pretty cool. It has a Cauticus with bat wings on it. Date that it should be replaced and lot number right here. The instructions are on the back, which we're pretty used to seeing with all of these. Has tear tab at the top and one on each corner of the bottom. Manufacturer information is down here. Overall, it's not the smallest dressing by any means. Certainly not the most packable 
of the ones on the market, but it's really not that bad when you look at this thing and then you see what comes out of it. So this is one that's unwrapped. And what you get is an ace style bandage with a gigantic dressing attached to it. A big old blood absorbing pad for those that don't know what a dressing is. On the short side is a piece of Velcro to help get it started. And then on the long side you have a roll with a closure bar in it. Now this pad appears huge, but it's not really huge. It has a pocket in it, which I mentioned a moment ago. And inside that pocket, you're going to find a piece of plastic. And some wound packing gauze, which is kind of rolled, but it's also kind of flat so that it'll fit in there. And then you can just close your pocket back up. And now you'll notice our pad is much flatter. These components that are inside of your blood absorbing pad hidden in there are what allows this to treat multiple injuries. This piece of plastic can be put over a sucking chest wound and then the bandage applied over it to hold it to create an occlusive dressing. Now, if you take a tactical emergency casualty care course, you'll learn that modern studies show that that's not an effective way to treat a sucking chest wound and that they actually recommend you only use actual chest seals now. But for literally decades, EMS has been taught to put a plastic of some kind over a sucking chest wound and then tape it down. So this fits the older teachings and the discussion of whether this really works or not is for a totally different video. For the purposes of this video, the Olias bandage is able to treat a sucking chest wound with this piece of plastic and the bandage applied over it. So that's one of the four types of injuries this thing can treat. Now the next thing it can do is you can use this gauze to wound pack. Wound packing is whenever you take a penetrating hole in somebody's body and you literally force galls into that hole until you can't fit anymore. You're basically filling up the gap with something that you can then push against to apply pressure. So once it's packed full, and I can literally kind of show you, you're, you're supposed to wrap it around your finger and do like this. All right. So once that's full and I can't get any more in there, what I do is I hold pressure until the bleeding stops. And then if you look, the wound cavity is packed with gauze. So that's how it works. So this gives you the ability to wound pack, hold pressure until the bleeding stops, and then you can use the bandage to hold it in place after you get the bleeding to stop by holding manual pressure. So that's the second of the four types of injuries this can treat, a junctional arterial bleed. Now, the third kind of injury that this can treat, I'm going to move this off camera so that we can get our camera to focus a little bit better, is an eye injury. The pressure application bar on the Olias is actually a little cup. Since it is shaped like a cup, you can put it over an eye injury. Hey, convenient. I have a head here. So you can put this over an eye injury like that and then wrap around and the eye is inside the cup like that and that protects it because EMS teaching is not to try to fix an eye injury it's to protect it until you can get it to somebody that knows what they're doing because eye injuries take a very specialized team to be able to treat so the third of the four types of injuries this can treat is an eye injury. Now we know what the fourth one is, don't we? A moderate hemorrhage, something like a venous bleed or something that has a lot of tore up surface area that's just bleeding a lot and needs some attention. So how do you apply it as just a standard old pressure dressing? Well, you apply it, we'll say I'm bleeding right here. You use this elastic to get you started 
I'm sorry, the uh, Velcro on the elastic on the short side to get you started. Just like that. And then as you unroll, there's Velcro every so far. Stretching this a little bit as you go and see that Velcro helps to secure it as you go, but it also keeps it from coming all the way unrolled. So I just keep going around stretching as I go. That's digging that little plastic cup into my arm. When I get to the end, Velcro piece on the end to finish it off. And then there's also a closure bar with two hooks. I can hook that in and that's how it works. I should have also mentioned that when I applied this to the cat's head to cover the eye, I was applying it backwards. For an eye injury, you put it on backwards with the cup facing out away. When you put it on your injury, you want the cup facing the injury so that as you wrap, this cup gets dug in like that to apply pressure. It's kind of interesting that it has that because if you watched my video about the Israeli bandage, I mentioned that the way it came about was there was an Israeli combat medic that didn't like the teachings of the time, which was to put a rock on the injury and then wrap around it with a bandage to force pressure into it. Essentially, that's exactly what's been designed here. This takes the place of a rock, it's pushing into the injury and you wrap around it. So it's basically the exact same concept, but using a nice little piece of plastic purpose built for it. Ultimately, of all of the dressings that I have ever dealt with, the Olias is by far the most multifunctional of all of them. I mean, tenfold over, it just is. It's also not the most expensive of the ones I've ever messed with, or trained with, or have reviewed here on the channel. So, in my book, that makes this an absolute win. That makes this your best choice. That's my opinion. This is your best choice. This has the most function for a good price. It'll do what you need it to do. And rather than just doing one thing, it can do four. So, I have to say thanks to my little buddy here. That's actually his name. His name is Buddy. For being our dummy for the eye injury. Even though he kind of interrupted my video. That's all I have for you guys. Instagram link is in the description. As always, like and subscribe, and have a nice day.